Hi everyone, this is Dr. David Rich Soule, Dean of Undergraduate Studies at Pacific College of Health and Science in Chicago. Recently, I had the pleasure of chatting with Pierce Dewar, a licensed massage therapist specializing in Thai body work. He has studied Thai massage and body work intensively at The Source in Thailand, as well as Costa Rica and the US with teachers from across the globe. Additionally, he received his Massage Therapy and Asian Body Work Certificate from Pacific College in Chicago, studying Western massage, Chinese medicine, and his massage modalities, Twina, Cupping, and Gua Sha. Earlier in his life, he found himself overworked, tired, stressed, and depleted. Sound familiar? He found yoga as an outlet to the grind, realizing that the simple act of feeling good was something he was missing out on. This portal into the world of wellness gave him insight into managing his own health and led him to his 200 and 500 hour yoga certifications. A unique aspect to Pierce's recent training is that he was in massage school during the 2020 early part of the coronavirus pandemic. When we sat down for a conversation, I asked him about his experiences and successes despite COVID. Let's see, I did the program for context in 2020, which started off as a normal year. <laughs> and then as everyone knows, uh, transitioned into um, a pandemic year. So it was an interest interesting time to be in school for various reasons. But I started actually studying massage and specifically Thai massage or Thai body work in uh, early, when, maybe like early 2017. So coming up on almost five years ago. And like what I tell people now is that I kind of got into massage uh, the opposite way where like you pick a specialty and then you, you know, and then I went to massage school, whereas most people go to massage school, they get some kind of general therapeutic Western version basis for their understanding of massage. And then they might take a weekend workshop and then get really into manual lymph drainage or cranial sacral or time massage or whatever. But something about Thai massage just drew me in. And I thought, even, even before I went in 2017 uh, to Thailand to study for the very first time, something about it, I just knew that I wanted to study it. And it wasn't necessarily I wanted to uh, pursue a new career. It was just, I want to do this. Kind of like um, I, in 2010, I did a yoga teacher training. Same reason. I just wanted to learn more and study more. And then eventually I started teaching classes. So um, I was doing that for a few years on my own. Just I had my own practice like one day a week at this place called Tribe Healing Arts in Roscoe Village. Um, it was started by a couple massage therapists and teachers from um, I think another school in Chicago. And then every once in a while I would do sessions at uh, Tejas Yoga, which is in the South Loop. And so luckily I kind of had a client base to really get my feet underground, so to speak. Um, I had this yoga community that would be willing for me to experiment on them with Thai massage. <laughs> so that's kind of how I got my start. And then, you know, a few years ago in Illinois, the laws changed for um, Asian body work exemption for practicing. So my friend Wendy and I decided that we would um, get licensed. And so we were both really interested in Pacific College because we were already in the framework of understanding uh, the mind and the body from an, uh, an Eastern point of view. So it just made a lot of sense considering that Pacific College is a, uh, founded on you know traditional Chinese medicine and um, these kind of viewpoints. So it fit in for us uh, really well. How was it like entering a massage therapy program at Pacific College after you had already performed body work for a while? Yeah, I think for me, um, a lot of it was brand new, even though I had been doing massage and body work from a different, pers different but same perspective. A lot of it was new because it was table based and I practice only on the floor um, or floor based mat massage. Um, so a lot of that was new, even though some of the techniques might be similar, just learning how to arrange my body <laughs> in certain ways. And um, as far as coming into it, also, I'd never studied Chinese medicine. Um, I had um, not formally, but kind of informally 
studied a bit about Ayurveda and they teach you a little bit when you go through courses in Thailand about their kind of sharing systems kind of in between Ayurveda and Chinese medicine. But, you know, I'm kind of an outsider there. I don't speak the language. I'm not part of the culture. So there's a lot of things that you don't know or you don't understand or that isn't transferred to you because you're just kind of there for a little bit and then you go home, you know. Um, so a lot of it, even though I had a pretty good foundation was brand new to me, um, especially, um, you know, the way Chinese medicine looks at through the five elements and the meridians and the organ pairings and everything like that. Um, it was really eye opening. So there's a lot that I hadn't had no prior knowledge about. It's helped me level up be more of a professional, you know, like, like Wendy, who I mentioned earlier that I did the program with, she's like the paper, you know, the, the paper, <laughs> the license really, it's really beneficial. And, you know, I think uh, Pacific's program does a good job of mixing uh, the logistical sides of, you know, managing what it is like in the real world, which of course you can only prepare somebody so much until they're actually in those situations um, with the actual like hands-on experience and stuff. I feel like every day, actually, the past few months, I'm like so grateful that I, like, I can't believe that I'm in the situation that I'm in where like things are going pretty well. And I think it's because last year was um, so uncertain and, you know, like income stream changed dramatically and what I was doing, but I think it was actually necessary for me to kind of pull me away from the, especially the jobs. I worked mostly as a like sound engineer and audiovisual for concerts and events. And it was, it's kind of like juggling two worlds, you know, sometimes I would go on tour. So you're in a van and you're in hotels and you're on someone else's timetable. And, and then I would come back and then do a little bit more of the holistic stuff, like, oh, teaching yoga and doing uh, Thai body work. And it was kind of like those two worlds were fighting a little bit. So um, last year allowed me to have that forced pause um, to kind of redirect my energy and, you know, be on a schedule now, which is like so good, you know, <laughs> so good for my uh, vata imbalances, if you know what I mean. And, you know, financial, more dependence, seeing, seeing things uh, more clearly every month, you know, working freelance, you just kind of never know where you're jobs are going to come from or how frequently. So yeah, like I said, in general, I'm, I'm pretty grateful for the way that things turned out. And um, yeah, I wouldn't change anything. <laughs> Tell us about your new massage therapy career since you graduated from Pacific College. I graduated in December of 2020 and I got my license. I was very ambitious doing the, <laughs> I took the MBLEX a week after we finished school. I think we finished on a Saturday, I took it on a Tuesday and actually drove to Wisconsin because the Illinois centers weren't open at that time. So I was very like, I'm going through this process. Nothing's gonna get in my way, not even a pandemic. <laughs> so I pass and then, uh, yeah, I got my license in February and I started actually working once a week at um, Chicago Family Acupuncture, which is in Glenview. Um, this is uh, Zahava Berkowitz's practice. She is also an alum of Pacific College in, uh, I think, a doctorate of Chinese medicine. So she went through, what is that, an extra year or something like that? Yeah. So um, we randomly found each other through Instagram. I commented on something about like, oh, this soup recipe looks good. And she wrote back, we're looking for a massage therapist. And then, <laughs> so that butted into um, working there. And, now, and I'm now there about once a month. Uh, seeing regular clients. Um, and so just for instance, you know, that op opportunity would not have been available to me if I had not gone through Pacific Colleges program to get, to, you know, to get licensed. And so I've been doing that since uh, February. It's now uh, November 2021. And then this fall, I started working at a place uh, nearish downtown called Bian, B-I-A-N. It's like a 
members uh, wellness club was for lack of better words, you know, they have everything, uh, uh, Chinese medicine practitioners, massage therapists, nutritionists, medical doctors, fitness center, uh, and on and on, you know. Um, and so I interviewed there doing Thai massage on the CEO, enjoyed it. So I got hired there and now I'm doing table or therapeutic massage um, as well as Thai massage. A little bit more of the Thai massage because that's um, more of my uh, history. <laughs> for lack of better words, and more of my specialty. Um, and all of that, in addition to, I have my own practice two days a week, still going at Tribe Healing Arts uh, in Roscoe Village. And so all of a sudden it's like, I guess I'm a full-time massage therapist now, which my mind is still having a hard time to wrap around at times. <laughs> what would you tell anyone wanting to go into massage therapy and body work? If you care about helping other people. That's like a, a kind of a no brainer. You have a, a desire and willingness to help. You know, I think younger, I wish I could have been in some sort of medical profession, but I like pass out easily. So <laughs> that's no good for me. So this is like, I kind of think of like, this is my way to be of service and somewhat in the health and healing capacity. Um, as well as my mind, I probably couldn't have gone through um, the schooling that required it. Um, but, you know, and, and for myself, you know, I'm at a point where I've mostly worked on my own, you know, and I'm now working, like I said before, at this place beyond that's two days a week, my own practice two days a week. So it's the type of place like for right now, for me, where I'm able to mix a bit of working for others and working for myself. So, and having the flexibility so that's really important. And um, you can also earn more, you know, doing massage per hour. Obviously, you can't work as much as, say, an office job, you know, because of your own body's longevity and t recovery time and everything like that. So there's added bonus. Maybe you, you work less, but you make more, you know. So uh, financially, there's that component as well, which, of course, we all have to think about these decisions for ourselves when we're choosing different careers and paths. Thank you, Piers, for sharing your journey and experiences of becoming a licensed massage therapist and body worker. For those who are listening and would like to learn more about becoming a massage therapist through Pacific College, visit us online at pacificcollege.edu. Until next time, I wish you well.